Okay, uh, we're gonna play around with the radiator today a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do some other things too, but uh, for right now, we're gonna work on the radiator. Uh, my buddy Neil bent the uh, brackets for us. They look like they're gonna work out good. Let me show you what this looks like real quick. Show you what I'm about to do. Get over here and take a look at what we got. Our plates are bent for us. Okay, so what we got here is we got an inch and a half lip. We're coming over three and a quarter. And then we got about four inches this way here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up these holes, these slots, and I measured to the center of each one. So the first one comes down uh, two and a quarter, the second one seven and three quarter, and the last one 13 and a quarter, and they're all in to center, three quarters of an inch. So I'll spot three holes there. Same thing on that side. After I do that, I'm going to measure up, I guess, about four inches, whatever this measurement is right here. It's probably right around four inches. And we're going to come out an inch on the top from the bend. And we're just going to run a radius wheel and put a nice angle on there. That way it's a gusset and brace all at one. And then we got a nice four inches still at the bottom. Because I was thinking I'm not going to weld these brackets onto the... Uh, frame i think we're going to bolt them on so once i get this all laid out and get these to bolt on then we'll go over to the car and we'll figure out exactly where we want to land the radiator and we'll put it up in there and clamp it and then i'll drill some pilot holes two on each side pull the uh, radiator and brackets back out then i'll open these holes up and i think i'll uh insert a nut inside the frame and take weld it on nuts on both sides and we'll already have the holes laid out on the bracket and we can just bolt them on so that's my plan we're going to try that and we're going to see how it goes um as soon as i get these holes drilled in this uh, uh bracket with the uh, angle with the radiac wheel i'll uh get right back to you guys it shouldn't take me too long to get that done Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, show you what I did here. I uh, got the bolt. I just used the hodgepodge or whatever I had here in the shop. Uh, I'll get the hardware whenever the hardware store opens up and I can get down there whenever things safen up a little bit. But I'm, I just used the hodgepodge of old bolts, new bolts, any old size. They're different lengths. It's, it's, it's good enough for now. We'll get what we need. Um, but that's what you got. Show you that. Come out really, really nice. Um, so, the measurement between the frame and uh, the frame over there is uh, 29 and 3 quarter. So, we're, we're right at that from this measurement to that measurement real close. Um, there's enough flex in this... Uh, aluminum angle if i gotta lengthen it or shorten it a little bit just put a little tiny kick in it and it should work out good um 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, charge up this uh, uh, camera, go in and have a sandwich for lunch, and then uh, we'll come out and we'll work on installing the uh, uh, radiator and brackets onto the frame. Uh, like I said, I think I have a pretty good idea what I want to do, but uh, we'll review it whenever I come back out. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me show you guys what we got going on here. I uh, come out and I set the radiator up in place. Um, we got a couple issues we got to work out. No big deal. Um, nothing to do with the bracketing or anything like that. Uh, I mean, our, our primary fan is, has, is, is electric and it has to be on the engine side. We got the clearance, but to do that we had to slide the uh, slide the radiator and brackets forward a little bit so we would have enough room when we go ahead and put that on. Um, so in doing that, bring us around to show you. We're gonna have to nip the corners off of those uh, aluminum bracket and our steel bracket, just like come down an inch and in an inch and just, it'll look nicer too, we'll round that off, it'll look good. So we gotta do that. We're gonna have to get rid of the old uh, hood latch. We don't care about that because uh, we're going with the tilt nose. So it was gonna take that off anyway. And we already knew we were gonna have to either trim the stiffener bracket or take it off because we're tilt nose and forward so we know all that all right so we're gonna have to do all that stuff um over here I'll come around on the other side and show you the uh the drain plug is going to be an issue because this 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 uh radiator was designed to fit a i guess a stock uh, try five, but it's got the three cores for so it'll handle the big block and all that stuff. But it, the cooler is right there and it's like right against the bar. So I could either put a Allen head uh, uh, plug in there, you know, so it's flush mount and just be done with it. And then if I ever have to drain a radiator, put a five gallon bucket under the bottom hose and let her rip, you guys know about that. That ain't no fun. So I think I might do a little customizing to this bar. I don't know yet. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. Um, one way or the, we'll do one or the other. We'll either plug this and, or we'll put a little notch in here and make a nice plate. One or the other. No big deal. Um, so I got that. Let me uh, pause this for a minute. Ah. All right, so since we're pretty happy with the uh, uh, placement of where everything is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, pull the radiator out of the way, leaving the brackets on there. And I'm gonna pilot the holes. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go with our plan and bolt these brackets in. And uh, that way, you know, hey, if we change our minds down the road, we can always do something else, you know, because it's just bolted on versus having to grind a whole bunch of welding crap off. I mean, the welding would be a lot faster and stuff, but it would be a little more custom this way, you know, where where we can do some stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause, you guys, because it's going to be real hard to try to tape this, even in fast forward, because it's dark and dingy under here, and I just, you know... I should have had to clip off, but I'm just trying to build everything so that I know everything's going to clear. I mean, I like I've told you guys a hundred times, I never built a car before, so so it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause you guys and come back once we have our next step ready to go. All right. All right. I just wanted to give you guys a quick recap on what's going on. Uh, my wife just came out to get me. She said I've been out here long enough today. And she's right. I've been out here all day. So I guess uh, she kind of still likes me or something, we'll see. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know where we're at and what we got going. Um, I drilled out the holes to mount the, the brackets. We located those. So they're on the braces right now, both braces. I got these hanging up, they're painted. They'll probably be damp all night because it's kind of chilly, but by tomorrow they should be dry. Uh, we'll work on mounting the fan on the radiator tomorrow as well show you over here i was pleasantly surprised after i drilled 
these uh, channels are at least 3 16 but I think they're actually quarter inch. So I was able just to tap those. I didn't have to worry about uh, making a bigger hole and I was going to TIG weld nuts in there, but uh, that's plenty of meat to hold the radiator for, four of those, two on each side. Um, tomorrow I'll work on notching this out because I, I, I don't want to have to not have a uh, drain on my radiator and I, I could do a very nice job here so we'll do it um, but that's going to be a job inside of itself so I'm going to go ahead and put this video up we got plenty of footage I um, feel like it's a nice substantial video and then uh, tomorrow I'll start filming to finish this job up and then I want to get back on the tracks. There's another thing I want to try before I commit to the one set of brackets we made. I found some uh, aluminum pipe in the back of my shed. And I want to try something real quick because there's uh, Hudson bearings fit inside there. I'm not sure it's going to work, but I want to try it and I'll show it to you guys every step of the way. Like I said, right, wrong, or indifferent. So we'll do that. But uh, I got plenty of stuff going on in the next few days. We're waiting for the monorail bearings to come. They haven't come yet. I haven't heard back from that Colin engineer fella yet, so I don't know what's going on there. If uh, if I don't hear anything from him, I, I kind of got an idea, but I'm anxious to see if he if he, he comes up with anything. But we'll see. Um, so that's it for today. We'll get this video up for you guys, and uh, I'll start right away on the next one so that you guys can see the finished product. But uh, looks like it's going to work out well.